Hello? Welcome to the Lake Tail High School Academy of Leadership and Military Science Specialty Program Show Click. I am Dr. Charles Clark, Mass Chief Petty Officer, USN Retired. I serve as the Director and the Senior Naval Science Instructor at Lake Tail High School. Before I get started, I'd like to introduce the very important members of our leadership team. The principal, our assigned administrator, our assigned counselor, and our, my partner, the Naval Science Instructor. Lake Tail High School's Academy of Leadership and Military Science, or ALMS, is the conduit by which leadership development and opportunities are offered and implemented for all students assigned. This program is unique in comparison to the standard NGROTC high school program because of several things. First, it's our admissions process. Our admissions process uh, involves our cadets being screened via the Norfolk Public School Specialty Program application process. The bedrock of our success is our parental involvement. Students and their families sign a contract agreeing to make some commitments. Some of these commitments include maintaining a 95% or better attendance rate, participating in at least one community service project per month, following our, our academy dress code, which requires them to wear our, the uniform at least uh, once a week, Wednesdays or Thursdays, depending on the ROTC day, uh, or wear the unit shirt once a week, Mondays or Tuesday, depending on what day they have class. They also agree to becoming a member of at least one of our teams, drill, academic, orientarian, and so forth. Uh, they are required to participate in, in some activities, including at least one community service activity per month. The Academy of Leadership and Military Science experience. Our cadets are organized not unlike the command structure uh, in the military, in which there, there's an existence of the subordinate uh, command and leadership relationship between cadets. Cadets are given true leadership responsibilities in which we give them the autonomy to provide us with ideas and how to effectively in, improve our program. Here are some of our achievements. Over the past 14 of 16 years, 12 consecutive, we've been identified as, as a distinguished unit. That's an achievement that only enjoyed by 5% of units nationwide. At least 40% of our cadets consistently are on the school's honor rolls. During the last school year, four of the top 10 GPAs were academy cadets in the year before it was six. SAT scores, our average SAT scores for NGROTC cadets are about 1,100, and that's doing no small part to our preparation method because our juniors and seniors, it's mandatory for them to enroll in the available SAT and ACT prep course. Some of our training accomplishments. Our academy runs year-round, and some of the things that, that, that we do during the summer include uh, send in cadets to boys state and girls state, uh, the Virginia State Troopers Youth Law Enforcement Program, uh, traveling to Colonial Williamsburg and visiting the museums in Washington, D.C. We also, since the inception of the ALMS in, in 2004, we've accumulated over 100,000 hours of community service. We're heavily into community service. Our program, the bedrock of our program, is citizenship development and giving back to the community that we're part of. We host two American Red Cross uh, blood drives annually. 
Our cadets are assigned as mentors to middle schools and elementary schools. And throughout the year, our cadets visit local military bases and numerous college in, colleges in the mid-Atlantic areas. What do we teach? Our freshmen, this is our freshman uh, curriculum. And as you can tell, topping it off is citizenship. As I stated before, uh, we, our program is all about citizenship and responsibility, citizenship development. We also uh, stress physical fitness and uh, living a, a physically fit lifestyle. For a sophomore, we introduce nautical astronomy, deck seamanship, and we also introduce them to uh, navigation. For our juniors, our juniors, we start introducing them to leadership. Our juniors are required to sign up for our Leadership Foundations course, which uses the Student Leadership Challenge as a foundation. And as a junior, mandatory participation in the SAT or ACT prep course. Our seniors, we utilize a fully executable NS4 or senior curriculum stress in leadership. Our seniors are also invited to enroll in royal leadership courses through Regent University, which are single credit courses that they can use towards their degree if they agree to go to leadership university. Seniors are heavily involved in, also heavily involved in community service. Our seniors are involved in our job shadowing program in which we try to mirror or team them up with military members who are doing the jobs that they show interest in. That way they can make up their minds whether or not they want to continue along that line if they, if they have genuine interest. How do we do all that stuff? As stated before, we rely heavily on parental involvement. We provide a monthly schedule to our parents, uh, letting them know exactly where they, can, where they can assist us. We also use the communication feature in Synergy to keep them highly involved. Regular phone, phone conversations, um, detailing uh, the cadets' deficiencies and also extolling their strengths. And empowerment and respect for the chain of command. We teach our, our cadets that though that cadet might be two years removed from, from your age, we have something called positional authority in which we teach them a huge part of being a leader is being a follower. What are the eligibility requirements? How can you join our Academy of Leadership and Military Science? Submit a Norfolk Public School Specialty Program application via your middle school counselor. Need a current uh, physical. Uh, if your application is accepted, you will be invited for an interview and an essay on March the 17th from 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. You need to possess an overall GPA of 2.0 to pass all eight great SOL exams. And if accepted to our Academy of Leadership and Military Science, attend summer orientation camp. I know that I went through this kind of quickly. This PowerPoint is going to be available on our website. And you can contact uh, me for further information. Again, this is Master Chief Clark. I am the Senior Naval Science Instructor of Lake Taylor High School Academy of Leadership and Military Science. Thank you for listening.